Hey gang, it's been a minute. I uh, got a couple things to show you. trailer this thing's pretty sweet okay so it's a 24 foot grand designs imagine with a one slide out there and it's pretty awesome we went from a 1999 to a 2019 <clears throat> so quite the big difference right and I just wanted to show it to you real quick. I can't do the slide out or anything because I'm still adjusting with the room I'm dealt with in the driveway, whatnot. Firstly, I wanted to show you this because we're going to talk about this. This is a waste. Uh, I'm not going to use Well, I won't say I'm not going to use it. <coughs> I might use it. But not on the not mostly not hardly previous owner installed two extra batteries on here pretty sweet um let's go check it out we never had ac in the old trailer so i just have an ac is like pff, awesome um it's pretty sweet got a tv got a radio with the inside speakers outside speakers oh, but this thing goes out like i don't know what is that three and a half feet pretty roomy compared to what we have got our own bedroom now and everything so um bunks in the back and the bathroom i mean i'm not gonna give you a <coughs> trailer tour you don't need a trailer tour uh but i wanted to show you what i'm working with i am doing my own solar setup i showed you that solar plug down there so basically it has the plug which is cool but then you have to buy a solar panel and you have to buy the solar panel with the controller but it can only be 10 amps now i don't know if you've ever looked for solar but you got to kind of make your own setup that's only 10 amps. So you'd have to buy, you could, you could buy a 100 watt panel and then you have to buy a 10 amp controller and then the quick plug that goes into the Furion setup. And you can buy a Furion setup, things like 500 bucks, I think. So I went to the old trusty dusty Renogy setup so same exact setup i had in my last trailer i loved it it made it so i never even had to plug in our trailer the only time i plug it in is a couple days before we left to go camping to get the fridge cooled down and that was about it so i'm going that here and i'm gonna kind of walk through what's going on um this video is mostly about the solar um but it's also a little update see what's going on. so i'm gonna uh walk through this uh i've kind of got a lot of it done on the roof side but i still need to run battery positive and negative down from the controller or where the controller is going to go down to maybe there at least there to go down to like wherever it comes out um, underneath to go to the batteries so as you can see i took the control panel off here just inside the door and i just uh i'm looking straight up there 
up here to the ceiling. And above here on the roof, there's nothing there. I was actually quite surprised at how much insulation um, that is up in between, you know, just right here to make this, you know, come out. I had to use, I actually had to add this <clears throat> extension here, whatever you want to call it, kind of just rigged up a little quarter inch socket onto this long one that I had and was finally i did it with just the just this whole bit here and it i couldn't get it up past this lip here the drill was hitting so i had to add that much more so i mean that's pretty impressive uh insulation there <laughs> on the on the roof so uh, i did finally get it through let's see if i can see it up here So the two holes are through. I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> on the top and run the solar wires down through the top and kind of see what's going on up there. All right. So they're down here. Separate spots up there. Focus. You can see daylight out there. Um... Yeah, so these are ran down now. I'm gonna go up back up top and push all my slack down and kind of get an idea where the panels are gonna go. I got all the kind of slack, the excess, all the length pushed down. And let's see, holes there. And however I wanna set this, uh, I don't think it, I mean, I've got enough slack to do whatever I want. If I want to go one there and one on this side, or if I want to do them lengthwise, maybe two down here along the back. I don't know. I use this butyl tape in between all the spots that go in between the roof. I noticed this cap doesn't have screw holes uh, I might do some pilot holes in here, maybe on the corners and slap it down. I, I don't know. I haven't decided that yet, but for now, I'm going to throw this butyl tape under here on all four sides. And then obviously I got to do the touch up the, whoops, touch up the self-leveling goo epoxy on kind of all this stuff it's uh this is a 2019 so it's three years old four years old now and it's time to touch up things like that you know too too many years without maintenance and it gets dry rotted and cracked and then you start having leaks when slap this back down on the butyl tape and then re-epoxy, self-level epoxy around this as well. So have it all gooped up nice. I got these laid out. I decided to do them this way since the roof's kind of curved. I'd get a little that way, a little that way, you know, whatever. Got the butyl tape under here on the screws and I'm not going to hook this up just yet, so kind of just tuck these up in here. The other ones coming out are underneath there. I got to wire up to the battery and stuff first, but I wanted to get this done and out of the way. So it's really, to me, it's the hardest part, <laughs> just because it's, I guess, hard to drill through your roof, make sure you miss wires, and then obviously drilling 16 other holes into your roof but 
as long as you epoxy them up good with the self-leveling epoxy they use I mean you should be okay here's the finished product I got them all gooped up and should be set kind of touched up some stuff up here too on the fronts the front and the rear is kind of the more important ones but this should do up top right, we got everything dialed in up top as far as we can for now I don't want to hook them up because obviously I don't want live cables and stuff down here um, they also say not to hook it up without a battery going to this so um, that can wait. I just wanted to get it done and wired. I'll probably chop this off down here a little bit, leave me some room. I'm gonna try and cut this board out here so this can fit in there pretty clean-like. And that way all of this stuff is tucked inside there with all of this. So I'll have these solar cables looped back around in the bottom of this sitting on there uh i'll probably have it down low so it can sit there let's move this out of the way yeah so something like that you know so you can see it when you come in from there uh probably probably the same idea drill holes down there and find a way to get in here maybe maybe through this I know this is empty down here but there's got to be a way to get up through this so I'll have to figure that out but anyways run the battery cables like I said down through there find somewhere to send it out the bottom so we can go to the batteries all right we got everything wired up I did have kind of a change of plans as I was running the battery lines it looks like the battery lines that they give me that go from the controller to the battery weren't long enough to go from here or there all the way down underneath and to the battery so i decided to scoot the controller forward in the trailer to where i gained whatever it's probably a good 10 or 12 feet instead of going down this and then over how i was saying um i ended up putting it in this just a little I don't know goofy little cupboard but I took my laser I took this panel out I measured the controller I took the laser I laser cut the wood out and it's gonna go right there so I ran the uh, panel wires down where I was going to run the battery wires up underneath here I can just coil it here and the controller there and it's already on the battery and sitting at about 13 volts just a little trickle charge setup going on so that should do me um, I hope this helps somebody because it's not necessarily difficult but once you kind of understand what you're up against with drilling holes in the roof and running wires um, in here you find the flashlight in here I went down the propane line holes so this should be okay it's all uh, gooped up underneath the bottom so it's sealed up nicely that just goes straight out 
underneath and then I just zip tied them up towards the front but I'll coil this stuff up so it's out of the way of the drawer that goes in here and I shouldn't have any issues with it getting in the way right there so it turned out pretty nice I I will, probably would have enjoyed it up by the door to where I could see it all the time but at the same time I have the the battery things here where I can check the battery but it also came with the Bluetooth controller too so I could always just check it on my phone where I don't even have to go in the trailer and look so that's that I am happy with it like I said this is the third one I've put in and once you get past drilling holes through stuff then it's not too bad um I'm back, I'm around, hit me up, follow, buy a hat. I got hats, I got t-shirts, I got hoodies, uh, I got mom hats, I got coffee mugs, I got jackets. And then there's some custom stuff on there too. If you want to buy some 3D prints, um, I'm working with some sheet metal people to maybe make some of my... 3D printed stuff more durable I don't know check it out I'll keep you posted thanks for watching